So I'm going to start off with my chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. Um, this is my first time really playing around with this palette on myself. I used it before when I worked at both Sephora and Macy's, but never on myself, just on clients. So I'm just going to go in with a nice transition color. I've seen a lot of pretty um, transitions and this palette is not new at all. But just in case anyone has never seen it, there you go. So I'm going to use this color called Semi Sweet. It's just a warm matte brown color and it's right here. And this is the color I'm going to start off in my transition with. I completely forgot today as soon as I started <laughs> putting in this transition that I did not base my eyelid. So let me base my eyelid real quick and then I'm going to come back with this transition. So I'm going to use for my base my Shadow Insurance and this is my Too Faced 24 hour primer. And I'm going to take a very small bit of that and place it right on the lid. I'm just going to take my pinky and blend that out. Always try to use my pinky or my ring finger on my eyelid because that's a very sensitive skin area. Look at me. I know it's such first nature to use your first finger on your eyelid, but you guys really remember that using the pinky or the ring finger is absolutely best start with the cherry cordial color from the chocolate bar Too face palette i was doing my speech over but then i got to talk and run in my mouth so voiceover life it is i'm taking a juvia's place brush and i'm just going ahead and really blending that color in this is going to start off as my transition for some of my deeper colors Now I'm going to use the color from ColourPop. It's called Beverly and it's from when they did their collaboration with Karuchi. I'm not sure if you can still purchase this item. And I do apologize for using discontinued items. I know someone commented on that. But the thing is, some of us did get those items. I know some of my viewers do have those items, so I don't want to just count them out and not use them. Now I'm taking the Juvia's Place eyeshadow brush and I'm just using this as a blending brush to soften those colors. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to use the color Triple Fudge. I knew that I wanted a deeper eye look but I knew I didn't want to reach for the blacks yet. So I'm using a very muted brown which is going to add a lot of depth to my um, outer V area as you can see there and really focusing it just on the outer V, not so much into the crease. You can drag it over slightly, but you don't really want to pull too much. Using my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hill Contour Kit in the lightest color, and I'm using a concealer brush. Now, as you can see, my concealer brush is rounded. The best way to get this sharp, you want to use either an angled brush or you want to use a flat brush. Um, I can't think of the name of it, but I'll leave it down in the description of the kind of brush. Those are the two best brushes for this. Um, I'm, I, well, I won't say I'm a little more advanced, but I can make a lot of things work just because I'm used to making things work in makeup. But if you really want something that's going to be a little more easier, then I suggest either one of those brushes. Also, where you put your concealer depends on your eye shape. If you all want me to do a video on how to determine your eye shapes, comment below and let me know. Now I'm going to take the color Amarado from the Chocolate Bar Palette. And this is going to be our base to our glitter. Whenever you're using glitter, you always want to put a base underneath. You don't want to just go in on top of concealer with glitter. Um, it looks sp spacey, it looks patchy, and it's just overall not a good application. So you want to use some kind of shadow under your glitter to really emphasize it. And make sure that you are applying it, you know, like you normally would, very nice and thin. That is really the key, I think, to keeping my eye looks 
popping, but keeping them looking, you know, I won't say natural. Nobody thinks you're born with glitter lids. I don't think they think you're born with glitter lids. Hopefully. Anywho, I'm using the glue from um, Too Faced as well. It's their glitter glue primer. And the glitter that I'm using is actually from Coastal Scents. It's called Tropicana. It's a beautiful golden color. Let me zoom in so y'all can really get into those sparkles, honey. Sparkling and shining. Now, I'm not usually a glitter girl. Um, I'm just really starting to play around in it since some of you were asking about glitter. But my biggest tip with glitter is to apply it slowly. You don't have to move fast with this step because you want the glitter to not look patchy or clumpy or really, really thick. Um, again, it just provides just a more cosmetic look when you do it this way, in my opinion. So really take your time, you know, don't be rushing. Everyone needs to understand that these beats take time, honey, okay? It's like when clients come to me and they're like, you need a face in 30 minutes. I'm like, mm, what you getting? Brows? I mean, I take time. I, I pride myself in my work. So I'm going to work and give you the best, okay? Hello. Now I did something different. I didn't want to do my standard black liner. I was like, I'm bored of that. I'm tired of that. So I'm using the NYX Studio Liquid Liner in the color Extreme Blue wow i really love this liner actually post a picture and you pretties were loving the liner as well so yeah let's try blue liner this summer this is giving me like a little pop of color without being too colorful now moving on to the face after i just apply some cheap ebay lashes i'm using my lancome genifique i use this all the time this is my favorite I use it on every type of skin client. It's absolutely the best. If you don't know about it, now you know about it. Go get you some. Don't say I never told you. Because I'm telling you now. This shit is the truth, okay? Profanity was needed right there. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl Peach Concealer. Concealer, corrector, whatever you call it. And I was breaking out down in my chin area. Because y'all know I normally don't even do that. But I told y'all I had a little acne breakout. I mean, and she don't. She might have agony, but I went home to Michigan and yeah, the water didn't agree. Now I'm using my NYX Liquid Illuminator in the color Gleam and my favorite foundation right now from Maybelline Pro Glow. I wear the color Coco. Pro Glow, Coco, kind of rhyming. <laughs> Anywho, I'm taking my Real Techniques brush and I'm just going ahead and blending this out. Um, a lot of you ask, like, do I mix them together? Yes, I mix them together on the back of my hand. Or a mixing palette if you're fancy like that, but I ain't. Look, I don't, I don't even sound fancy. I ain't. Like, I'm so damn country. But anywho, I'm just going to go ahead and keep blending this out, getting a real nice flawless look. I love it. I love how glowy and dewy it is. I'll be dewy until the day I die. Now I'm taking the Lancome, their new concealer, because they had a concealer before. Didn't have a lot of shades, honey, and um, definitely was not as thick and rich as this concealer. They definitely upgraded their concealer, so I definitely encourage you beauties, um, especially my women of color, like myself, to try out Lancome's concealers. They have definitely upgraded them, and I say that they're on the level of their foundations now, and if you haven't tried Lancome's foundation, you've been sleeping, honey. You really need to wake your ass up and try some Lancome foundation. They are one of the top brands who has several different, I mean, almost several thousand different shades. Women of color, you know, Caucasian women, Hispanic women, everybody has a color at Lancome. Everybody. If you don't have a color at Lancome, you have to be green or purple. Seriously. Now I'm just going to go ahead and dampen my Real Techniques sponge. I know I was telling you guys I wasn't sure if I like my Real Techniques sponge more or that I like my Beauty Butter. The verdict is in, honey. I like my Real Techniques sponge. Number one, 10 times more affordable. I mean, Beauty Blender ain't too bad, but Real Techniques sponge, 10 times more affordable. I love the corner, how I can get into my corners tight and it's soft only con is it, it's not as sturdy as my beauty blender but that's the only con about it but i'm loving it more right now y'all don't even know have to even see what this is it's my sasha buttercup um 
every black girl in America uses Sasha Buttercup. You know, use anything else. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, this is Sasha Buttercup. Uh, I'm just going in and highlighting my under eye area. I always like to pat in that first layer. And then I take another layer on top to sit it in. I just think that it really um, makes my highlight pop. And a lot of you, some of you, well, some of you were saying that it was like, it looked a little ashy or I wasn't sure I was going to go. I need mean, the look always comes together. Let me understand. Let me tell y'all. The look always comes together. It looks a little crazy in this process, but the look always comes together or she don't leave her house. Okay. Always come together. All right. Now I'm just going to dust that off after I let it sit. Maybe let it sit about 10, 15 minutes. Nothing major. And I'm dusting off with this Juvia's Place brush. This is a really good brush that I got it at iMats actually. And I really, I like it. I dig with it. Oh, and I just want y'all to see my eyes. I was just being a little show off right there. <laughs> y'all know me. I'm using Black Opal Deep, my favorite setting powder ever. Um, You know, I've never actually even tried MAC setting powder. Someone asked me about that. I'm going to go ahead and purchase it and see how I like it. But my black opal does me just fine. So, I mean, it's not broken. Don't fix it, you know? And I'm taking this all under my neck and on my chest. Because I was noticing in my pictures, like, you know, I have that hyperpigmentation on my neck. And sometimes on my chest. And I hate how it looks in pictures. So, that's why I'm doing it. Now, I'm going to take the, uh, what is this? Ebony Bronze by... Cover girl, and I'm just going ahead and I'm going to contour my face with this. And I'm just using an angled brush, I believe this angled brush is from BH Cosmetics or something like that. Who am I even talking to? I have absolutely no idea. Like, I'd be like, oh, who girl, you be talking to? Now I'm using Juvia's Paste, the new um, blush palette. I believe this one is volume one. And I'm using the color Abby. And why did I take it up to my nose like that? I instantly regretted that shit. Like, do y'all ever do something with makeup and you just be like, why? When you know better, you know not to do this. And you just do it. But anywho, it looks really good as a contour. I'm really feeling it as a contour. Now I'm taking the Juvia's Place. This is the volume two, I believe. And I'm using this really pink shimmery um, color. I have the colors, the exact colors that I use right down below. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on my cheeks, emphasize my cheeks. Now I'm gonna take my NYX setting spray. This is my first level of setting spray. I put mine on before my highlighter. That's just what I like. Now I'm using the AY Beauty. I need y'all to really see how beautiful this is. Gold color. OMG. Wait till you see the swatch of this. <gasps> I'm going to be shining this whole summer with all these highlighters. Like seriously. And I'm just going to pop that right there on that highlight. Bone right there on that cheek. Yes. Glow. Glow goddess. Glow. I need y'all to see both sides of this. Because it's serious. And... It's, she has some other colors, so I know some of y'all be like, I don't like the gold. She got champagne and rose and, you know, but for the gold queens like myself, <laughs> we gonna be shining. Now I'm taking the Dewy NYX because, again, she will be Dewy until the day she dies. I'm lining my lips with, I believe this is Notion. I always get Notion and R&B from ColourPop mixed up, but I'm pretty sure this is Notion that I'm lining my lips with, making it really dramatic, overdrawing my lips because I was born on the itty bitty lip committee. You know, I don't have no big, boisterous, black girl lips. Um, so yeah, I just deal with it and I overline so I can get some lip injections. What else to do, right? <laughs> Now I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Rio. It's pretty bright pink color. I have some other shades in this, in um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this one comes off a little streaky to me. I said that on Snapchat. Like, 
it just in person it looks shrieky i don't know how it's pulling on camera but yeah i had to really do some you know adjustments with that one all right y'all this is the complete and final look i'm giving y'all nice malibu barbie looking like a snack right now <laughs> And I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see more makeup tutorials from me. Thanks so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Until then, stay pretty.